for my fun project number four, we're going to make this cute little owl pincushion. So we have the body, the front, the cover to the base, and a piece of cardboard that I'm going to cut the base out of. I'm going to start by cutting out the base. I'm just going to trace around my little circle. It's about a two inch circle and um, you could use a washer, just a heavy washer. If you don't want to cut out cardboard, it'll give it a little more weight on the base with the washer. But if you don't want to spend any money, grab a piece of cardboard. There you go. That's the base of our little guy. It gets covered with this um, piece of fabric. That's our last step. We're going to start with the front of our owl. We're going to attach it to the body and sides. Put the pieces right side together and you give it a quarter inch seam. There it is pressed open. I pressed the seam over to one side. And now I'm going to put it right sides together to the other side and sew another seam. It's not exact, but I'm going to start right where my thread is for my last seam and come down to the corner. I'm going to follow the center piece instead of the back piece. We can trim that off. So there it is. And trim the point at the top where I'm going to turn the nose. I'm going to trim as close as I can to that point without cutting through the point. And when I flip it right side out, I'm going to give it a little poke. So after you've turned it right side out, you're going to turn the top down for the nose, about an inch. So put a pin in there to hold it in place. And then I'm going to hand stitch the tip of the nose in place. So I'm going to start from the inside and I'm just going to And I'm just going to tack two or three little stitches here to hold it in place. And then to knot it, I'm just going to make a loop. I'm going to go through that loop and pull it to make my knot. And I'm going to snip the thread. It's okay to leave a tail. You're not going to see it. It's on the inside. I take my pin out, and there is his nose is tacked down nicely, his beak. The next step, I'm going to double my thread so that it's strong, and then I'm going to take some stitches about a quarter of an inch around, some big stitches, so that I can gather up the base of his body. This is where we're going to fill it. I'm using Desert Bren Blend Ground English Walnut Shells. And I have some in my cup here already. And I'm just going to pour it in to my little guy until I think he's got enough. And then you're going to cinch that up. Take a couple stitches across it so that it doesn't open on you. Don't want it open up and leak anywhere. And you're not going to see these stitches, so they don't have to be pretty. The thread doesn't have to match. They just have to be big and strong. That's a good fat little body. And now I'm going to put a knot in this as well. And go back through. 
and I'll come out somewhere else and I'll snip my threads. There he is, our little owl. So now I'm going to work on the base of the owl. Again, I'm going to double my thread, give it a knot, and I'm going to gather up my circle the same way I gathered up the base so of the owl. I just want a quarter of an inch from the edge all the way around. I'm going to rock my needle in and out and do a nice, big, loose gathering stitch. There it is. And I put my cardboard into that spot. And I pull up my stitches. Nice and tight. You're only going to see this part. But this part's going to be underneath the owl. So I want to secure the stitches nice and tight. So I'm holding my thread and I'm going to take a couple of stitches back. so that it doesn't come loose. And I'm gather. Pretty much just three stitches in the same spot, and then again a loop, and I put my thread through the loop. Now to sew the owl to the base, I'm going to basically just blind stitch it all the way around. I'll start on the back side and work my way around. I want it to sit nice and flat, so I'm trying to get his pudge to relocate. Come out to the edge, and I take a stitch on the edge of my platform, and then I take a stitch inside the owl base and then I go right back in to the platform right underneath where I came out of the owl bum and I go right back into the owl I take a stitch in the base take a stitch in the body basically all the way around as I get to the front I like to uh, I have it look like his feet, so I come in to the body a little bit instead of up higher, so that um, this kind of like a little shelf. His feet turn out being like a little shelf. Back to the very end. Now you can use polyester fiber fill if you want to fill these. Um, it's going to be a little lighter weight. It might slide around while you're trying to poke it and stick it with pins. So I like to use the crushed walnuts, but if you want to use polyfiberfill, that'll work too. And I just make a knot by going through the loop a couple times, make a couple loops. And I pull it, and then I go back in and come out away from the knot and trim it. There we go. Now all I need is sew on a couple buttons. I think I'm going to go with maybe brown. I have a couple of brown in here. Now I'll sew a couple buttons on and he's done. So there it is. My little owl pin cushion.